Hey young fellows, this is a video of some things that have resurfaced, some of them online, some of them don't get talked about still to this day in your young generation, but these things were taught almost constantly uh, to my generation from the Korean War and the World War II generation. It was a different world filled with very serious men uh, that came up with every modern convenience you have today. Uh, I don't know what types of conveniences you guys are going to come up for future generations, but it's not looking good. Uh, at least from an old man's perspective, but I'm going to give some information here that every young man should adhere to and get in the practice of. Um, if you do these things, they are going to greatly, greatly increase your chances of success. The first thing you should do after, I'll start at night uh, to get into what you should do when you get up in the morning. When you go to sleep at night, this 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, even 11 is way too late for a growing boy. If you have to get up at in between 6 and 7.30, you really need to be asleep by 9 or 10 o'clock. I know that sounds very foreign to you, but I did it. I did it on my own. I uh, never had to be told. Um, so it's very important to get the sleep that you need to face the day. Uh, and most of you, I, I used to say many, but now most of you younger guys uh, aren't even told when to go to sleep. Uh, you wouldn't be told to get up and go to school or do anything uh, if your parents were not not under threat of being imprisoned if they didn't make sure that you went to school. Um, they, they're so sorry, they just lay you around, which is going to come up later in this. But the first thing you should do, and I'll be very quick with this, when you get up, you need to get up in with time allotment. Well, what's time allotment? If you've got to be at school at 7.30 or walk out the door at 7.30, getting up at 7.15 is not the thing to do. It's just not. It just simply is not. You guys should be getting up and taking a shower in the morning, have plenty of time to do that. Uh, you should drink plenty of water in the morning. Uh, have time allotted to let your head get together before you ever exit the house that you you are fully awake, awoken and clear in thought before you exit the home. You need to be policing the whole area around you, having it in a good orderly fashion, especially the bed in which you lay your head in. Uh, a lot of you have moms or dads that make these beds for you. Uh, many of you don't even have a mom or dad that would do that, nor care if you have a good, clean, uh, made bed. Because they were never taught the importance of these things. Uh, if your day start, starts at the very beginning with responsible actions, it will continue throughout to an enjoyable evening uh, with good responsible actions and a fellow who is performing good responsible actions throughout the day is a more relaxed, happier guy. 
Second thing I want to talk to you about is take into your body, uh, consume what you need instead of what you want. Uh, many of you are eating foods that are killing you and fattening you up for the slaughter. And most of you are encouraged by your parents to do so. Uh, it is amazing how many of you whom have parents that are constantly moaning and crying and complaining about money and not being able to pay this bill or that bill, but that are out spending $100 a day fattening themselves and you kids up for the slaughter in the process. Totally insane. So you need to consume the foods that are going to be of value to you, that are going to feed you, that are going to build your body and your mind. You need to be in certain types of physical fitness. Every boy needs to be lifting weight. Every boy. In the boxing community, there's a lot of debate. Well, you shouldn't uh, lift weights. You shouldn't do dumbbell work. Uh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. But I'm telling you uh, that lifting weight, irregardless of the debates over lifting weights, lifting weight is necessary. Uh, there's no equipment necessary. You lift your own weight. Push-ups, set-ups, uh, a whole Russian side twist, burpees. There's a whole host of things you can be doing. Running, jogging. <coughs> you need to be performing competitive sport. Boxing, tennis. Uh, baseball, softball, basketball, football, soccer. Uh, but you need to be in competition steadily. The biggest competitor you ever will have is yourself. The biggest competition against you is yourself. So remember that. Be in constant competition. You need to educate yourself. If you do the things that I aforementioned, it is going to free and uh, your your mind uh, that you can open up yourself to easily be educated. The math or the algebra or the trigonometry that was just insurmountable to you will start being understood by you. Trust me on that. A clean body produces a strong brain uh, with much greater learning and problem-solving capabilities. Accountability. You need to be accountable for your actions. No matter, well, my mom and dad are alcoholics. They fuss and fight all the time. That may be, but you've got to dig deep and rise above that in such a way that you do not replicate it in your life and pass it on. Because chances are it was replicated from their parents and it was passed on to them and will be continuing on to you. You see a, a lot of you have nice, calm, wonderful, responsible grandparents. But when they were younger and raising your mom and dad, uh, things were probably not the same as you see with your grandparents today. They were probably doing the same things that your parents do that inhibit you from learning or having a calm life. But you can't let that push you to streets, violence, ugliness, theft, or you doing drugs or you doing alcohol or you being a fool yourself. Uh, just because those around you are doing it doesn't mean that you let it affect you for you to do it. You have to let it affect you 
that you do not want to do it, nor do you want to have the actions that are being perpetrated against you perpetrate. You do not want to perpetrate them on your children or anyone else around you. That's called being a man. Uh, you need to stand up against these adversities. Uh, as I just mentioned, uh, you can overcome almost any adverse condition that is not a catastrophic adverse condition. If it's not a catastrophic adverse condition, chances are you can overcome it. It requires a lot of effort uh, and self-control, which you need to possess. You have got to have self-control. Um, if you are taking personal accountability for your actions and you are standing against adversity or rising above it um, or fighting against it, uh, you will have self-control. A lot of the young boxers, you're going to understand what that means because when you get in the ring, it's a very chaotic situation. Uh, I call it supreme chaos. Uh, it is beyond me how uh, young boxers go from being perfect, uh, near perfect kids to being adult lunatics. Uh, I'm not understanding that very good, but uh, you don't have to let it happen to you. But as young boxers, and those of you kids that aren't boxers, if you know some kids that are young boxers, maybe try to mix with them even if you don't want to box. And you can train, uh, you can uh, train as a boxer, and you don't have to box, but boxing training uh, the calisthenics used, the, the whole array of and gambit of mental control and every aspect of it will be very beneficial for you. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is when you are a boy, you dress and you look like a boy. When you are a man, you should dress and look like a man. There should be a transition phase going through there. Not a fad phase, a transition phase to where you are no longer a boy and as you are becoming a man, uh, you should wear manly clothes. Manly clothes are not what you see on uh, comedy sitcoms and in the latest movies. They're just not. Uh, you need to start thinking in the way you carry yourself, which is the way you walk through life, your swagger, your way. Uh, you need to be confident in it. You need to think about the hair that you have. Uh, when you're younger, I'll give you an example. I was younger in the late 60s. A little kid uh, in the 60s and in the late 60s we started letting it got the hair grow longer and you could look at some pictures of me and you would have to think but you could tell by the clothes from which I that would that were put on my back he was a boy however by my hair uh, I had the whitest blonde long hair uh, you couldn't tell that's okay when you're a kid. Um, back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, little boys used to wear uh, what would be considered a dress today. It wasn't called that. I forget what it was called. But that's for boy, children, see? And you need to evolve into a man. You need to grow into a man. Um, I'm basically... Anybody from their early 20s on down, uh, I'm not beefing you out about you insisting upon your individual individuality and that's my thing or whatever. But if you're approaching your mid-20s or older, 
and you're running around here and it looks like you've got a mop placed on your head, you are what you are, which is a damn fool. No matter how smart you are, no matter how muscular you are, no matter how bad of a boxer or collegiate wrestler or football player you are, you are a damn fool. If you are idiotic enough to walk around looking like uh, someone has placed a mop on your head uh, and you do not care about yourself and you are more concerned with looking cool than you are with looking like a man, you're not a man. It's just as pure and as simple as that. So by the time you approach your mid-twenties, you need to be getting haircuts. Uh, irrespective of what the fad of the day is, uh, dreadlocks down your ass need to be snipped. Uh, mopped out hair and all this run down the back of your ass needs to be snipped. Uh, there's a time and a place for everything. There's a time and a place for being a young child, a time and a place for being a boy, and a time and a place for being a man. Think about these things that I just told you. Figure out ways to apply them in your life. And guess what, young boys? You will become young men. You can do it. Uh, if you are serious about your life, not others, your life, and you choose to follow the true principles and you should know by now if you're watching this video what the true principles are they are only in one book that is uh, many books condensed into one if you apply those principles and you read up on those principles, you're going to be totally shocked because no one, including presidents or uh, no, no one from presidents to preachers are teaching these principles any longer. You have to learn them yourself and on your own. But if you apply the principles and you fight the good life being good to others, treating others with kindness and respect when warranted and standing up and fighting when warranted physically evil, you will be the better for it. You are growing up in a world today that you can't even go down to uh, the local park that if other kids are trying to beat up or claiming they're going to beat up your little eight-year-old sister and you punch one of the guys and you warn them to stay then not come around your sister you will be the bad guy that's what generation you live in it's very difficult for for you young fella so that means in this generation you have to be the more serious about everything with concerns to yourself Building yourself, building your character, building your faith, and building your backbone. The very serious world in which you live. And good luck to you. And I hope that you will apply these principles. They have been proven since time immemorial to work every single time. So give them a try. For two or three months see what has changed in your life and I'll all but guarantee you you will continue them once you get used to them they will become second nature to you you will apply these things you will learn more about these things you will add other good things to them and you will shoot up like a rocket to success while others are lazy and complacent and uh, foolish around you, you will be strong and serious with purpose. So it's easier to gain success today than it was in my day, but there's a lot more foolishness you younger folks have to put up with. 
Good luck to you. God bless you and move forward.